Hello, friends. Casey here. I can explain. I know how this looks. Just hear me out as I plead my case. I give you Exhibit A, the Dunkin' Donut box with not as much as a single sprinkle left in it that is perched on top of my head. Now, to the untrained eye, I agree that it appears that I would be guilty of the premeditated assault and battery of a box of donuts. But there, my friends, is where you would be wrong. You see, this accident all started innocently. I was minding my own business, walking through the house, when suddenly I heard a choir of angels singing. Oh, yeah, that's what it sounded like. And then I had an epiphany. There is an open box of donuts somewhere in this house. Well, I ran from room to room, and I made such a clatter that Cody came running from the other room to see what was going on. Well, then I found it laying on the coffee table in the living room, looking like a pirate's treasure chest full of gold. <laughs> Evidently, Dad had left it there and ran upstairs to get Mom to see if she wanted one. Well, I looked at Cody and I said, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Cody is such a good boy. He's the dog that all of us wishes we could be one day. He tried to reason with me. He said, Casey, please. Tell me this train of thought you're on has a caboose. I said, no, no, I look pretty good to me. And he said, Casey, how could you? It's Easter week. Ask yourself the question, what would Jesus do? And for about five seconds, I felt guilty. I said, Cody, you know, you're right. And I bowed my head and I began to pray. I said, dear Lord, Thank you for the donuts I am about to receive, and bless the hands that accidentally left them within my reach.